Welcome back to the channel, folks. I'm the Miso Genius. Ladies, if I hadn't known that making fun of you was the key to getting you to subscribe, I could have been doing that years ago. Isn't that just like a woman? We're back for another talk about Snow White. And the reason why I want to bring it up is because it involves two women that I'm actually a huge fan of. That would be Rachel Zegler and Brett Cooper. Uh, I have a great deal of knowledge uh, about both of them. Well, at least um, Brett Cooper. I, I've, I've uh, been following Brett for a while because she was tied to my old audience. But they're both coming out with dueling productions of Snow White. Obviously, Brett's is going to be smaller because it's nothing compared to Disney. But we have some really, really interesting things to talk about about those two because they really are two of my favorite media personalities, for women at least, at least as much as the Miso could like a woman. Women are nuts. Now, you might be saying, Miso, you just like them because they're young and attractive. Of course that's the reason. Once a woman's over the age of 30, we need to put them in a concentration camp. It's gotta hurt. But we're gonna get into this in more detail. We're gonna talk about the productions and how, uh, how much I know about each of these two. And it's gonna be fun as always. So why don't we go ahead and get into it. Watch out, people, because there are two Snow Whites in the town, and both have reportedly decided that either of them has to be exiled. Yep, the drama got far more twisted than you could have ever imagined. The Daily Wire pulled off an ultimate Chad move that no one saw coming. Rachel Zegler must have stumbled real hard when she heard about it. You see, The Daily Wire is making their own version of a live-action version of the movie Snow White and the Evil Queen. And guess who's playing the princess in the much-hyped version of the film? B to the R, Brett Cooper herself. Believe it or not, Cooper's version of the film is rumored to give Disney major competition. We're going to start off talking a little bit about Brett Cooper. In my first Snow White video, I talked a little bit about the Disney production uh, with Rachel Zegler. We're going to talk a little bit about Brett, and I'm going to give you some insight to kind of who Brett is, and at least what I know ab about her. Uh, so... This channel, for those of you that might be returning, so I'm assuming some of you are still with me, this channel for probably the longest time was dating with Jim. I was a woman's dating coach, and I am also board certified as a relationship coach amongst uh, other certifications. Uh, I left that field. It was mostly on TikTok, which thank God is going away, but I left that field because I didn't enjoy it. I don't like working with women all the time. It's it's not a fun gig. Obviously, you know how I feel about the woman and their fallen ways. They went insane. But around that time, uh, my audience, based on my analytics, because I, I use a number of tools to figure out my analytics and who my audience likes, is people really, really liked Brett Cooper. So I was like, I have to check out Brett Cooper and see what she's all about. And she's a very conservative personality. Obviously, she's part of the Daily Wire with her show, The Comments Section, run by Ben Shapiro. But she's a very, very conservative commentator. What I would say about her actual program here on YouTube is that it is a kind of girly. So uh, I, I'm sure some men do enjoy the program. But for me, it's kind of more of a girly girls program and she's kind of a girly girl she brett cooper i bet if you hung out with her outside of her program like if you just were going out on a girls night out brett cooper is the type of woman that you go and hang out with and are actually excited to hang out with one of your girlfriends uh or she she'd be like one of your girlfriends you'd like to hang out with not the oh my god becky how are you how are you doing today becky you're my friend uh, you girls all hate each other <laughs> so, so at least what I know about Brett Cooper, I don't think that she's at all like that. So I would, I would recommend uh, if you're a woman watching now, and, and I wasn't uh, joking at all. More and more women are subscribing now. The the subscriber count is running up from women. Uh, you girls like when I roast you a little bit. Yeah, just like a woman. And that's how it's actually always been. So I'm not surprised of that, of that and welcome aboard. But go ahead and check out Brett's uh, channel. But uh, Brett as a person, like when I think of, you know, the perfect type of woman 
that I would ever look to kind of get married to, it would be somebody like Brett Cooper. Now, I was married before. I don't believe in marriage anymore. Like, I, I didn't really get screwed over too, too bad. You know, there was some financial losses there. But based on my own personal philosophy, I don't really believe in marriage. But from a conservative viewpoint on the type of woman that would be supportive, the type of woman that is easygoing, responsible, like... When I look at a Brett Cooper, that's kind of who I exactly envision. The age is perfect, too. I think Brett is like 21, 22. And she actually did recently get married. Congrats to her uh, on her recent marriage. Un un unfortunate to all parties involved of the marriage. I, I just don't believe in marriage anymore. I'm sure some of you do. But she is just kind of your wholesome lady. Uh, she, she, What came to mind when I was thinking about her during in this comparison of the Snow Whites was... Brett Cooper would be the type of woman that sat down with you at dinner and would have been like, oh, hey, Miso, uh, you need to make sure you eat all your broccoli. Eat all your broccoli so you can grow up big and strong, Miso. Kind of like that motherly type. type, type of The type of woman that would be a good, like, mother to, to a child. So she'll, she, like, if she has children, I anticipate she'd, she'd probably be fantastic. But on the other hand... We don't know who these media personalities are once we get off the screen, but always was a fan of Brett Cooper, and I actually did a little bit of fan art because uh, I was just like, I want to do some wholesome art. Like, I, I'm not going to do anything like provocative because uh, that's kind of a line I try to stay away from unless I'm really trying to roast somebody. But I did some biker art of her where I was just like, you know, she's such a conservative woman. Let's put up some Brett Cooper uh, with some tattoos as a biker chick. I thought that that might be interesting. So here's what happened. And it's my opinion that Brent Key, so Brent Key, I think, is the children's part of the network for the Daily Wire run by Ben Shapiro, is where they're going to air their version of the Snow White. So this isn't going to be in theaters, at least to my knowledge as of right now. It's not a theater-based production. And it's also not something that a tremendous amount of dollars is going to go into to fund this like the Disney production. However, if they're reigning true to conservative values, and because I personally steer towards conservative values myself, uh, I would imagine that this production is going to be more in a line with something that I would personally enjoy and, and watch than the actual Disney production of this movie. It's just a huge mess, and I'm not going to talk a whole lot about that side today, but um, we're, we're going to get into that shortly. So a lot of people are more excited about Brett Cooper's version. And like I said, I'm a fan. I, th I think it's fantastic that, that they're doing that to compete. And I, I think at the end of this, I'll, I'll kind of g give a reason why it's so good that we have that competition. Now, Going back to Rachel Zegler, looking back at Rachel, and if you watched the last video, and I encourage you to watch it, uh, I didn't think it was going to be as popular as it ended up being. It took a few days for it to really run up, but with Rachel Zegler, like, she's just, she's a knockout. Like, that's probably the entire reason why I like her. Like, if I had to envision the perfect woman, at least from a visual standpoint, that's the type of woman that I dig. She's fine. She fine. So I can really, really dig that. From a personality standpoint, yeah, she's fallen as heck. She is hella fallen. She she is as fallen as hard as the Western woman has. Oh, there's something seriously wrong with her. And, but I don't even really blame her. So the biggest problem with the Disney production and the biggest thing that turns me off, and, and this turns everybody off, like this even turns other women off, is she's like, it's not going to be about the prince or finding love, it's going to be about girl balls and girl power and how girls are, are excellent at everything and we're the heroes and blah, blah, blah. Everybody is sick of that. Nobody even cares about that. Girl power. And women don't even like it because whenever you look at a woman and they want to be a girl boss, you don't want the girl next to you to be a bigger girl boss than you. So what happens is, is you're, you're all sitting around going, girl boss, girl boss, girl boss. And then all of a sudden your friend gets promoted to, to girl boss. And you're like, <coughs> I hate girl boss. Like you ladies are shenanigans. But that's what Rachel is, is promoting. And it, it's, it's not even her. Like if you watch any of the, um, any of the clips, go back to the, to last, the last video I had. But if you watch any of the clips, 
She doesn't appear genuine at all. It looks like a media coached uh, agenda. It looks like all this agenda is uh, for the sake of girl power, for the sake of wokeness, for the sake of ridiculousness and stupidness that women bring to entertainment uh, much of the time now uh, nowadays. Uh, when all, really, all a woman really has to do, all a woman really has to do is be attractive and don't screw it up. That's, that's all a woman really has to do in media. But now, ladies, now you have to get in there and girl boss, girl boss, no woman is the boss of anything. Uh, you ladies and your girl boss. I hate the girl boss. Nobody likes the girl boss. Ladies, women, girl bosses. Nobody likes it. So let me, as the miso, talk about, now let's compare the two productions. Obviously, the one with Brett Cooper is the one uh, cinematically that I would choose if I had to say which would I most enjoy watching. However, Rachel Ziegler is super hot, like way hotter. Like um, uh, Brett Cooper is the, who I think of when I think of like a grandma type, type like pretty type conservative pretty. But when I want to think of super, super hot, that's when I think of Rachel Ziegler. So I actually support both their productions, even though I know for a fact that the Disney production is going to be ultimate, ultimate crap. But what was the other comparison? So yeah. And so with Brett Cooper, remember how I said, you know, with the broccoli, like, honey, you need to eat your broccoli if you're going to be uh, big and strong. And that's who I think of when I think of Brett Cooper. And then when I think of Rachel Ziegler, I think of Rachel Ziegler as in the, I just broke up with her and she's going to lock me in the basement until I change my mind type woman. She's hot as heck. All these fantasies going wild, like going wild, going crazy. So that's what's going on. Now, let me wrap this up here. So that's the comparison I want to make. I know I didn't talk as much about Rachel Ziegler. I did in my prior video, so please check it out. But here, what's the point that we're trying to make here? So you have Disney with a super, super large production, millions and millions of dollars, billions of dollars backing the entire company as a whole, and you have them bombing. They're just, they're losing. And then what happens? Uh, the Daily Wire, Ben Shapiro's company, comes along and they create a draw just because they're looking to give the audiences what they want. And what does that mean for uh, entertainment as a whole? And where is entertainment going? Entertainment is going in the direction where smaller productions, smaller entertainment outlets are going to have the ability to compete with the big guys. In what time in entertainment history has that been a possibility? And this is why I'm in, uh, into content creation. Well, I love it too. Like I have so much fun with this. I, I'll even take the grief uh, with the good. I'll take the griefing as, as part of it. But there's never been a time really in history where there is such an awesome opportunity to get out there and to compete with the big guys because you're willing to do what you're passionate about and you're willing to listen to an audience. So that's what excites me about content generation and content going forward. So for me and my channel, I'm not going to lie, my channel is tends to be more about my personal interests, what you know, I want to do in the directions that I want to go in, but I'm also very, very receptive to the audience, and I use the analytics very, very deeply. And the one trend that you know we're really getting behind, or what's really resonating, is is just roasting you, ladies. Ladies, all I have to do is make fun of you, and then you subscribe in troves. It's not it like it's it's apparent. It, like these stats are legitimate. The more that I roast you in my videos, the more women subscribe ladies the hell are you up to but i welcome you everybody's here to have fun as long as everyone is here having a good time i never want to see any hostility towards each other in the comments i can even take a little bit of guff towards myself the people that are really rotten they will get removed but i appreciate you coming back to the channel for this comparison for me to talk about this um uh, I don't know what I'm going to be moving on to for the next video. I already have a bunch of things planned. It's just a matter of what order I'm going to be doing. Uh, if there's suggestions you guys have or certain uh, media topics you want me to cover, by all means, drop them in the comments. But thank you so much for coming back to another one of my episodes. 
and I will see you guys again next time.